being a mother, we know things. Like, I knew that Brooke loved, loved Bryce long before they were even together. Actually, in high school, I knew that. But you both had to mature and go through lessons in life to get yourselves ready for each other. I know you make each other happy and you bring out the best in each other and I know you will make a great life together. I wish you a lifetime of laughter, happiness, and a love that grows stronger with each year you have together. I love you both. Close our eyes, the current sweeps right When Brooke sees value in things, she gives it 110%. So when Bryce walked into her life, being the charming, laid back, he was really living the bachelor lifestyle. There's no way he was prepared for Brooke, her persistence, and the love that she had to offer. Bryce checked all of the boxes she had ever created, and she was destined to bring stability into his life. Bryce has always had a caring heart. Uh, he cares for more than others than he does himself. Uh, he's, in my personal reflection, Bryce has always uh, been the guy to give me a phone call uh, at 2 o'clock in the morning to ask me how I'm doing or uh, you know, just, just simply be the, the uh, caring heart that he has. And, uh, and, and having that caring heart, I know that that will be something that will make him an excellent husband, but still, he's an asshole. Uh, <laughs> Take a deep breath. You finally made it, you're here. All of the preparation, the time, the energy, the tears. At first glance, it's incredible, isn't it? Marriage is incredible. It's something that God gave us at the beginning of time, something that we get to celebrate over and over again. And for you two, this is your day. This is your time, this is your moment. With this ring, with this ring, I seal my promise. I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving husband. To be my, to be your faithful and loving husband. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. And Brooke, will you take Bryce's ring, place it upon the third finger of his left hand, and as you do that, repeat after me: With this ring. With this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving wife. To be your faithful and loving wife. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Marriage. It's the clasping of hands, the blending of hearts, the union of two lives joining as one. But I gotta tell you this, your marriage has to stand. I want you to take time to remember this moment when times get hard, when you feel like there's no hope in sight, just remember the promise that you made to each other, the reason that you're here. You've clasped hands, you've recited vows, you've exchanged rings, you've tied the knot. And so it is my honor as a brother in Christ, but more than that, as a friend, to, to declare you husband and wife. 
Bryce, you've been waiting for it for a long time. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the very first time, you got to make some noise. Get those hands together for Mr. and Mrs. Bryce Real. Come on. <laughs> It's a tough world. It's not all honeymoon. But I know that these guys can overcome any mountain, any storm, and any struggle that stands before them. But here's the coolest thing. What's in front of you is the windshield. The rearview mirror's back there. But the windshield is so much bigger than the rearview mirror.